Hello, everyone. My name is Tomokawa from Shinsu University. Now, about the overview of uh, the project is that uh, we would like to uh, validate uh, the possibility uh, of, uh, as you can see, Osaka, Shinshu, Chukyo, Tokyo University, uh, Kanagawa uh, Health University, a number of universities uh, were participating uh, in this. And uh, at Laos, Laos National University in uh, Nepal, uh, Toribin uh, University, uh, many young uh, researchers were engaged in this uh, project. On behalf of these institutions, I would like to make a, a presentation and look at uh, health education and health checkup activities that could uh, contribute to SDGs and how uh, it is uh, valid. So verification research on the challenges and possibilities for development of uh, Japanese style school health that contributes to SDGs. And uh, we are to uh, conduct empirical studies uh, to look at that. Specifically, we have engaged in four activities. I would like to talk a lot about this, but I would like to today focus on number three, uh, to propose models uh, to promote school health and ESC in developing countries and Japan. That will be uh, the core topic of my research. Laos, Nepal, and Japan in three countries. We actually developed uh, materials for uh, health education and we have conducted lesson studies. So let me share with you that experience. And uh, on site, uh, changes in uh, learning uh, post uh, COVID, opinions concerning learning in the post COVID era, future outlook expectations for Asia for Japan. These were the topics given to me uh, and requested of me. And so I have tried to cover these in my presentation for your reference. So first, empirical studies. Uh, the point is, number one, what is Japanese cell school health education, especially health education uh, was the focus. Number two, so cooperation and collaboration between teacher training schools and their affiliated institutions. Number three, yes, D, by taking health issues as an entry point. So these are the key phrases uh, that we have selected in our activities. So Japanese sales school health education, what is it? Under a new course of uh, study, I'm sure uh, you are having your activities, uh, but uh, uh, we're aiming to have proactive, interactive, and authentic uh, learning for the students and structured education comprised of introduction, development, and conclusion. That is what is to be uh, provided. So lesson studies that are often uh, provided for math and others, uh, we try uh, to improve teaching skills uh, through this. Number three, teacher training schools and their affiliated institutions collaborate with each other, which is a strength for Japanese education. So leveraging that, how can we enhance uh, teacher training schools, education and research functions? We looked at, and number three, when Asia Port Japan first got off to a start, we were told uh, to help promote uh, ESG. And so teaching on health issues that are familiar to children and those of high priority by taking this up. So ESG with uh, health issues as an entry point, we thought that uh, that would be possible. So we focus on that. There are three steps, three processes. One, to develop teaching materials. Uh, Japan, Nepal, and Laos, uh, the researchers from these three countries, and those uh, who have experience uh, teaching uh, were involved in developing teaching materials. Uh, step two, uh, materials developed. Uh, there are two targets. Uh, one is uh, a teacher a training for teachers uh, of teacher training schools, and number two, uh, teacher training for junior and senior high school. Uh, school teachers and step three those uh, teachers who were trained uh, by this material uh, will uh, provide teaching and we will uh, make an assessment uh, and uh, this is uh, the composition of the training so we would uh, teach about esd first introduction of esd and relationship between esd uh, and themes uh, and uh, uh, skills to be acquired background and lesson plans and uh, we would have mock uh, lessons of 45 or 50 minutes and uh, role playing to be done by uh, the role of uh, uh, those who fulfill the role of teachers and students. So introduction, uh, ordinary experiences, development, scientific approach, conclusion, behavioral changes. Uh, can we all uh, have uh, three elements? Uh, and after that, uh, we would analyze what was good uh, and what leaves uh, uh, what is to be desired and discuss the need for theme-based teaching and points to know in teaching. 
and uh, there are six types of materials role play group work participatory initiative is very much uh, promoted and uh, we introduced uh, educational approaches teaching approaches that would allow for that and uh, uh, assessment these are questions included well knowledge uh, attitude practice in short a kap cap so and self-confidence so is there self-confidence uh, in providing instructions uh, or teaching that's what was assessed and learning to be achieved through japanese style education so proactive interactive authentic uh, learning so uh, we asked uh, the respondents uh, to answer uh, questions on those and uh, what's focused on esc seven competencies and attitudes uh, that are defined uh, by Max. And so on these uh, seven items, uh, self-assessment uh, was to be given. So let me give one specific example uh, from an actual material that was uh, developed. Under COVID, the importance of hand washing was very much emphasized. So in Japan and overseas, uh, referring to uh, Japan's uh, practice of uh, hand uh, washing, not just uh, for the person uh, themselves uh, to uh, wash hands, but uh, to spread that practice uh, to those around them. So in the introduction, we talked about the importance of hand washing. We also introduced a nudge theory and how it can be practiced. And in development, through group work, action plans were developed. And in the conclusion, presentations were made on those action plans. In these lessons of the seven elements, one through five uh, were emphasized. So uh, the material was designed so that these five would be taught uh, thoroughly. And so we developed materials in three countries and let me share with you some of the learnings. I'm sorry, I'm out of breath. Well, it was possible because it was done online for 40 hours for two months every week all three participants uh, participants from all three countries got together uh, to interact and access to water sources uh, was different uh, between cities and rural areas uh, that's obvious but how can that be incorporated uh, in the teaching material for hand watching so what can be done and it, among uh, the japanese researchers uh, there were african uh, study experts. And in Africa, what was used was tippy tap, where uh, there was no running water. Uh, they would use a kettle uh, to uh, pool water so that with a small amount of uh, water, people would be able uh, to wash uh, hands. So that was an example given. In Laos and Nepal, could this be used, adapted? And uh, under COVID, there were discrimination uh, and biases uh, that uh, came up as uh, issues. And what were the specific issues confronted? And by having discussions on those problems, I think we were able to have uh, a deeper understanding. And let me show you some uh, numbers as to the impact. One through seven, uh, we got the answers. Number one, one, three, five, six. So for uh, four areas, there was improvement. So motivation, interest uh, arose, uh, but one of the most important points, now when hand washing instructions are given, what to consider? Uh, that was not understood very well. And statistical significance, uh, knowledge about hand washing, uh, that uh, was kept uh, low. So uh, there were challenges remaining even after uh, the teaching. Now, self-evaluation of acquisition of abilities and attitudes emphasized in ESD, and the results uh, suggested that areas that were not expected uh, to rise rose. But uh, close to 90%, uh, uh, some knowledge and understanding was gained, uh, to, uh, and that was 90%. Uh, so uh, self-assessment suggested uh, that uh, some level of ESD knowledge and understanding uh, was improved. And uh, as we watched uh, a teacher training, what uh, did we find? We focused on nudge theory, but unfortunately, uh, in the activities uh, planned, uh, there was uh, no mention of nudge theory at all. Well, uh, because our uh, school has uh, uh, a sand-based uh, 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 
playground. Uh, we can't use paint like this, uh, teacher said, and that was not the point. And so, actually, education plans do not match the results of analysis of issues to be addressed, and the content was just a list of desires and hopes. And uh, uh, no appropriate comments from the teachers were given, and so presentations would be made. Uh, they could include uh, lies or false information, but uh, they were never uh, called out. And uh, we also uh, conducted uh, menstruation uh, teaching, and uh, amongst uh, boys and girls, uh, would we be able to do this uh, for them to be together? But unexpectedly, in Nepal, uh, boys and girls uh, eagerly participated uh, in this. And with respect to ESD, in Nepal and Laos, uh, interest uh, level was very high. So three to five minutes of uh, explanation was uh, planned, uh, but actually presentation uh, stretched to 30 minutes. Uh, we had to uh, have stricter time management, otherwise uh, uh, people would just go on talking about uh, their favorite topics. And so just to summarize, uh, challenges include uh, uh, the need for reduction for overall explanation uh, time. And we also need uh, to standardize uh, the quality of instruction. And uh, that did not apply only to health education, but to all education. And uh, that this was a good point. Um, it was mentioned uh, by local teachers. and. Uh, we need to propose measures based on the analysis of the current situation, prioritize content, and uh, uh, ESD is best suited to strengthen the capacities uh, that countries uh, seek, so that was positively assessed, and lesson study was not conveyed very well. It's about studying lessons, isn't it? Uh, that was the extent of uh, their understanding, so we felt the difficulty of conveying uh, the essence of the lesson study. How much time do I have left? Well, it was shown three more minutes. So, changes in student learning due to COVID-19 identified on site, and now that uh, uh, constraints are relaxed, uh, we were able to visit so many schools, uh, we were able uh, to listen to their uh, principals, and just to summarize, uh, the positive impacts, be it Laos or uh, Nepal, uh, online education environment dramatically improved, that's number one, and number two, uh, school management capability uh, was raised uh, for some schools, but in some other schools, no. And uh, interest in hygiene and sanitation rose as well. So these were some of the positive impacts. And negative impacts are that uh, there's education gap uh, among junior high school uh, high schools um, and in Nepal. 3,000 uh, online education programs uh, were developed in two years uh, at the uh, National Center, and they're being utilized. That's a positive. And negative is that uh, there were teachers who were finding a sense of crisis uh, in the loss of uh, peer education. So smart ad phone addiction and uh, solitude, uh, loneliness uh, among children. Uh, these were some of the negative issues spotted. And uh, health education uh, through one device, one person. Well, those who were not coming to school would be educated uh, at home, and those uh, parents uh, who wanted to uh, participate uh, could also uh, participate. Now, among uh, teacher training institutions, Mentimeters, uh, engineering uh, technology, ICT technology uh, was uh, brought in for uh, education, and uh, uh, some came to uh, Japan uh, from Laos, uh, so uh, they were exposed to actual lessons. They were able to see with their own eyes as to uh, what was done in Japan. And experience and participation is very crucial. That's my impression. In the last year, 14 uh, college students from Japan and many teachers participated uh, in health uh, checkup activities. 11,000 uh, children's uh, health checkup uh, was done in a year. So it's very difficult to say what Japanese style education is, but by having people experience, uh, you will see how it's done. Uh, for example, uh, health checkups uh, are about measuring uh, height and weight and so forth at schools. And as you can see in highlighted in red, so given the needs of Laos and Nepal, DX and uh, health education, 
uh, with the two combined, uh, lots of expectations are being uh, expressed. And ICT for promotion of health uh, education, that was the need uh, that we heard, that they want more of that. And lastly, and uh, international uh, cooperation uh, for uh, action uh, research, empirical research, how can that be done at the high school level? Well, uh, I think uh, uh, we can uh, offer something that matches that need. So in high schools, exploration um, type of uh, learning, uh, we hope to do more on that front uh, going forward uh, in Japanese uh, high schools. Dr. Tomokawa, thank you very much.